Hey Keto fam, welcome to day 9, 30 days carnivore. I had a pretty successful week. Let's see if we can keep it going. I feel pretty good today, quite energized, was really energized yesterday. Got quite a bit done in the yard, uh, for me anyway. I still need to go and pick up, I will be picking up some tomato plants and some jalapeno plants like I did last year. So, come this summer, I will be doing some vegetables. I'm definitely going to try to keep it ketovore. Not so much keto anymore, because like how Keto Christina, I believe she's um, from Ireland. I watched hers the other day and she was talking about how keto got to the point where it wasn't helping her anymore. And I'm, I almost feel like I'm at that point. Keto's been great for me so far. And... Uh, I lost the majority of my weight the first two years as well, but I've been in a perpetual stall for nearly two and a half years, the, the roller coaster up and down, up and down, up and down. So it appears that going straight carnivore has kicked me back into gear. And after this 30 days, depending on how I feel and how, um, you know, as far as eating something besides just meat, whether or not I will stick with carnivore. Don't get me wrong, I love meat, but I love salads too. And I, I like condiments, keto-friendly condiments. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. today, what I'm going to, and believe it, it's almost two o'clock, you guys. This time change got me all jacked up. But I'm not hungry, but I need to eat because now I'm, I have like a two-hour window where I'm, is the only time that I've allowed myself to eat anything. So it is, it's 1.45 right now. So, I have pulled out a couple of pieces of the cod that I'm going to go ahead and lightly season with a little bit of Obey seasoning, uh, salt, maybe some pepper, and stick in my air fryer and eat those real quick. I will uh, bring a picture of that to you later or between now and by the time I finish eating this, I will likely eat a little bit of corned beef. So that's going to be my uh, meals today, you guys. Short video, nothing spectacular going on. I'm doing laundry, uh, a little bit of cleaning up after the G-baby was here, grandbaby was here. She's so freaking cute. Um, and outside of that, not much today. Really short video today, you guys. I did weigh in this morning. I will bring that to you on Sunday. Yeah, next Sunday for the end of week two results of 30 Days Carnivore. Also, I wanted to mention this, you guys. I got this. Turn on. I got this on Amazon. It's a fitness tracker. It's not a Fitbit. It's a fitness tracker. And uh, give me one second and I'll get the uh, brand name. Okay, it's called Lintelic. Lintelic. And it's just a fitness tracker, and I got it on uh, Amazon for, I think, $34. And it tracks all this stuff here. And I never knew before how many steps that I was actually taking during the day. My phone tracks it, but I don't always have my phone on me. Like yesterday when I was in the uh, yard doing all that yard work, I ended up doing like 4,000 steps. And I didn't get this until late in the day yesterday. So, all right. So now I'll be able to actually, well, again, I don't know how accurate these things are, but it must track something. I don't know. But I should be able to track my movements much better. It does sync up with my phone. It tracks my heart rate and steps. It does step running. What is it? Activity, sedentary stuff, auto data sync, sleeping. I got like eight hours last night, which is fantastic. About three quarters of it was heavy sleep and the other was like light sleep. Uh, heart monitor, call alert, message alert, alarms. It's, it's, it's the very cheap version of a Fitbit. Fitbits are expensive and I'm not paying that for a Fitbit. $34, Amazon. Lintelic. So... Let me get into cooking my fish. I'll bring you a picture of it when it's done. I'll also put a picture of my uh, corned beef <laughs> at the end of the video. Have a fantastic day, you guys. And if you're new, please subscribe and follow me along on my 30-day journey of carnivore and see the results at the end of the month. I'm 
pretty excited about it, you guys. Well, I don't want to get overconfident, but we shall. Okay, it's done, you guys. Mm. I don't know. That might have been too much Old Bay. I got a little heavy-handed. In here, I got almost two tablespoons of butter because this isn't very fat. So I'm going to pour the butter on the top. I'd love to be able to put some lemon on it, but... That's not going to be possible because I'm already outside the box with the Obey seasoning on there. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this, you guys, and then I'll be back in. Likely, I'll only take a picture of the plate of corned beef that I'm eating. I would love to also add some sauerkraut, a little bit of Swiss cheese, and some homemade Thousand Island dressing to put on that as well, but not going to do that. Maybe just add a little bit of butter to that as well. Okay, you guys have a fantastic weekend. I know I said this earlier, but please, if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like and uh, follow me along. Share if you think. Share worthy. Love you guys.